Isaac Newton was born in 1643 in a tiny village in England called Woolsthorpe Manor. From a young age, Isaac was different. While other children played games, he spent hours tinkering with mechanical toys or watching the world around him. To him, the world wasn't just a place to live. It was a giant puzzle waiting to be solved. Isaac's curiosity led him to ask questions no one else dared to. Why does the moon not fall to the earth? Why do stars stay suspended in the sky? Why do objects always fall downward? For most people, these were mysteries to accept. For Newton, they were challenges to uncover. One warm afternoon in 1665, a young Newton returned to his family home after Cambridge University temporarily shut down due to the Great Plague. While others saw this time as a disruption, Isaac used it as an opportunity. One day, as he sat under an apple tree in the orchard, lost in thought, an apple fell. To anyone else, it was a normal event, but to Newton, it was the key to a mystery that had puzzled him for years. Why does the apple fall straight down? Why not sideways or upwards, he wondered. It was a moment that changed everything. He realized there must be an invisible force pulling the apple toward the earth. But this led to an even bigger question. Could the same force that made the apple fall also explain why the moon stays in orbit around the earth? Isaac wasn't satisfied with simply observing the apple's fall. He began connecting dots no one else had seen. The falling apple, the motion of planets, and even the tides in the ocean all seemed to be influenced by the same invisible force. He imagined Earth's gravity as a giant unseen hand stretching far beyond the ground beneath us. This idea became the foundation of his greatest work. Over the next two decades, Newton worked tirelessly to refine his ideas. He invented mathematical tools like calculus to help describe the motion of objects and the nature of forces. His calculations showed that the force of gravity didn't stop at the Earth's surface but extended outward, diminishing with distance. In 1687, Newton finally published his masterpiece Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. Within its pages, he introduced the law of universal gravitation. He explained that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. It was a groundbreaking realization that didn't just explain why apples fall. It explained why planets orbit the sun, why the tides rise and fall, and why the universe behaves the way it does. Newton's discovery wasn't just a scientific breakthrough, it was a turning point for humanity. For centuries, people believed the heavens and the earth were governed by separate laws. Newton proved that the same rules applied everywhere his work unified the universe under a single principle and opened the door to modern physics, astronomy, and engineering. Even with such monumental achievements, Newton remained humble. He once said, If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants, acknowledging the contributions of those who came before him. Newton passed away in 1727, but his legacy continues to inspire. From the simple fall of an apple, he unlocked the secrets of the cosmos and reshaped humanity's understanding of its place in the universe. His story reminds us that even the smallest moments, a falling apple, a fleeting thought, can lead to discoveries that change the world forever.
and there you have it the incredible story of Isaac Newton and the discovery of gravity remember the next time you see an apple fall it's not just an apple it's a symbol of curiosity persistence and the boundless potential of the human mind if you enjoy this journey through history don't forget to like share and subscribe for more inspiring stories of discovery and innovation thank you for watching and until next time stay curious